All right, so we've got a little trailer back in the shop here. Yes, it's a little messy, but hey, it's a shop that's actually being used. Made a little trailer and wood shop. Was not not trailer. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Ramp. But yeah, anyway, backpack says. Got my socks on. And we are ready to get some crap done on this thing. So these are fishing rod holders. Um, this is going to end up being a mix between a work trailer and a fun trailer. On my old bike, which is going to become the work bike. But this has got a up going on here because if I put it here it'll get hit because with the tires and everything back here I have the one to be headache rack and anything oversized to be sticking out back here so they got to go up front but yeah, I have a whole like build series planned out for this thing um, it all kind of revolves around a mixture of work which will be the next um, video in the series on this and this one's more focused on play. So this one I'll be mounting this stuff on. Not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it yet. And then one here, one here. Then the next one will actually be mounting the toolbox up here. So that one puts a little bit more tongue weight down. And two, so that I can have tools in it that don't because as in right now, like this is most of the stuff in here is junk. But this is the toolbox that I would use. Like this doesn't really fit in here that way, so it has to go this way. It takes up a lot of space. So if I were to build a rack and it sits here, I'll just kind of balance it here for a minute. It wouldn't necessarily go that far up the thing. It would end up going like right here ish. Because my idea was get like a inch thick um, angled steel weld them together to make like a box thing and then use u-bolts to you bolt it onto here drive a pin down through here to keep it from sliding and then have this sit on it and then have straps go over it so that when i want to i can still take this off take it out with me right now it's full of junk but it'll be a good thing for um like on the move, kind of like repairs, like a service trailer kind of thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and toss you all on some t on a time lapse, so I can figure out what I'm doing with those. I'm sorry in advance. Time lapse does not have audio, so I might be able to put some music in it, but I highly doubt that I'll be able to. So I'm just gonna send you on to the time lapse now. Sorry if it doesn't have any music. Alright, so it was like 15 second time lapse there. Shit, time warp for GoPros. Um, but so far, I took all these stupid reflector brackets. So all these freaking reflectors fell off except for like two of them. So I just took them off because I have lights to put on it anyway. Um, it actually has a turn signal that you can radio control up from the bike up front. <clears throat> Pretty nice. And if you've noticed anything here, um, these tires are in stock. These came with really smooth, cheap Chinese tires. Uh, they kept going flat. I got tired of them. So I ended up getting these um, Bell tires. Um, got a little bit of tread here. You don't need much for a trailer. But still something because the other ones were like only for road. And these, this thing sees more gravel than road. So these are smooth enough for road. But have enough tread for not slipping and sliding around. And packing full of crap in uh, gravel and mud situations. But... I'm going to throw you all back on time lapse and get them mounted up.
All right, yes, I know I look a little weird with this hat, this headlamp, and glasses, but safety third, remember that. Anyway, I got this on here. Ish, it's not completely mounted, but this just sits up against there. You put your rod in here, turn this to the rod. The reel goes right there, holds it in place. And you take, well, you take one of these bungees, I believe they go up through here. And then they strap down over. But I'll show you. Probably when I'm done, I'm not going to include the next process. So I'll see you then. All right, it's done. Um, it's really not that much to show here, but I, I don't have a rod to put in it right now. But the rod just sits in there. We'll go up to about here if I collapse it, and about there if I don't. Um, I put them there because anything oversized would be hanging off the back. And on the sides, you know, like that. Right now in here, there's still the crap that was in the beginning. But I put the toolbox down in there along with the spare stuff. So this is going to be part one of the build series. So that that's definitely not straight. i got to straighten it. Um, this is part one of the build series. And I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe so we can grow the channel and we can make more stuff like this um, so that I can actually put that box on there, grow the channel, make it bigger than it is now, obviously. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.